Hi everyone! So it's Botswana lockdown, day two, lockdown schmockdown, here we go. So um yeah, no, it's 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 been real. It's been it's been real. We it's day two, I don't know how those poor Italians are doing it for, for months and weeks on end, but anyway, so I had to have a little chat to to my pride and joy this morning because um you know we here alone and it's just me and him and Purdy and Scout who you'll meet soon. You can actually hi ah, there's Scout on the bed. No Scout, you don't do that. We're on TV. Um anyway, so I had to have a chat because I have a huge big wicker washing basket in my bedroom. It's a washing basket. Do you think the clothes make it into the basket? <laughs> No. So anyway, had a discerning little chat and that all seems to be sorted. The clothes are in the basket. We, we're getting there. So like, I don't know if, if you have that same problem, like first be calm and then tackle it head on or whatever you need to do. Anyway, so today, today's inspiration. Okay. Well, it didn't quite <laughs> work out. So as you can see, so what, what, what I did, I, there's a story behind this. So, so my pride and joy last year I had to go for a nose op, a nose operation. And um, while he was gone, I was I was having a look in my Zoom mirror, which is never a good thing to do. And you know, because we're in the bush here in Botswana and it's dirty, you get blackheads. So um, I shot out and I bought and I bought these these strips, these great. And and what you do is you you stick it on, and then you pull it off. So so when he came back and I was inspecting his new hooter. <laughs> Um, I noticed that he had a few blackheads. I thought, mm -mm, this is just not, not going to do. So I, I went and got some strips and, and I put one on him and he was fine. He was happy days. He like lived his best life watching his cricket while it was on. And then it was time to come off and I started taking it off and he started squealing. So I was like, okay, no, well do it yourself then love. So he, he, he pulls it off and, um, very slowly and, 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 and then start squealing that it's ripping his skin. I said, oh, don't be ridiculous. You're being an absolute girl's blouse, okay? And what do you, how, how do you think us women feel? We, we have periods, we give birth, have babies. Okay, I, I haven't had a baby, but let's just, like, I'm just putting it out there, you know? Imagine if a guy had to give birth. Oh, that's not going to happen, a little nose peel. Anywho, so... There I was, and, um, you know, I've always, he, he was bitching and moaning, had a big old scab, and oh, never heard the end of it. So, there there I was today thinking, okay, I'm going to do it, and, and show all of you how to easily remove blackheads, okay? And I, I don't know if you Americans get blackheads, because they're clean over there, but not dirty like here, but, I mean, we're not dirty people, we, we're very clean people, but it's dusty, dusty dirt. So, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. So I said, so do it. And I followed the instructions. What you've got to do is you've got to wet your nose. Okay. And then you open. I'm, I'm not scared to open this and waste it because I shan't be using one of these, you know. So, you know, I've always been, I've always been so lucky up until now is because I've got freckles. I love, I love freckles are the bomb. I've hidden behind them all my life, you know. Um, if someone said to me, oh, you've got a blackhead. I'd say, no, Linda. It's actually, it's actually a freckle. Just stop that. Anyhow, so you get this, this it's a strip, okay? So you wet your nose and then you, you peel off the plastic bit. And let's pretend that's my nose, okay? And then you stick it. You see, you think it's... <laughs> oh, oh, it's because it's not wet. Hold on. I'm going to like slobber on there. Okay, anyway, and you stick it on, okay? Onto your, this is supposed to be on your, on your nose. Anyway, so I do it and I'm happy days and I, and I do my thing and I'm listening to my Deezer and I'm playing with my puppies and we're all having a, a fab time and um, it comes time for me to peel this off so I think here we go and it's a bit tight, a bit sore. Well, I've managed to rip half of my snotty box off. So I wouldn't be doing that too soon unless you've got like a serious, serious problem. I, you know, it's locked down, so I couldn't race off to the pharmacy. Well, I suppose I could have, but I need a permit and all that. Oh, no. So I just, I couldn't find any plasters. Elastoplast, plaster, what do you Americans call it? What do you, anyway, a plaster, a plaster. So, um, see, it leaves a, a terrible residue on, on your face. So you've got to wash it. And, and anyway, and all that black stuff went into my nose, not, not up my nose, but into the sore and... 
oh gosh, so I'll put some cream on, antibiotic cream, and, and I'm just hoping that it sorts it out, because because I kind of touched too much, so anyway, that's that little inspiration, <laughs> once again, like I'm failing here, dismally, at the inspirational, um, motivational lockdown things to do, but that's okay, we'll, we'll get there tomorrow, foolproof, foolproof, um, guys, I'm loving the comments and the love, please keep them coming, um, Stay safe. My nose will be better tomorrow. My nose will be better tomorrow. Full foolproof idea for tomorrow. Um, it's day day two. We've made it. It's late afternoon. Time to have a sundowner. Um, if you want. I'm not, like, I'm not an alcoholic. No. No. Um, but but be safe. Love you. Check tomorrow. Bye.